Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back with Icarus. Um, <coughs> apologies if I'm still sounding a bit croaky. I'm still getting over the cold I've been suffering with for the last week. Uh, it's taken a while to go. Um, so yeah, so where did we end up last time? So I think at the end of the last session, I'd uh, been mining a load more ore, which you can see now is smelting. Um, some copper and iron ore. Oh, weather event coming in. Oh, we're going to get any rain. Oh, look, rain. Here at the top right hand corner, a little rain shower underneath the cloud. We may actually get some water in our water reservoir. Wow. Wow. It's only taken about five days. So, hmm, that aside. Anyway, so where were we? What time points I've got to spend? Um, let's go take a look at that. What do we want? We've got dense packing. Oxygen thief, a bit more for mining. I'll have that one. And we've got that. Don't need that just yet. Um, let's go with a uh, skilled picker, just so we get more when we hand pick things. And um, solo points. Um, so, once I'm looking at this, stamina increase. More yield from logging or decreased hunger, thirst and co air costs. So this one's a good one to have, so I'm going to go for that. And I'll max that out. Yep, it's raining. And we now have one litre of water. Woohoo! Yep. Right, let's just go back to Tech Tree. I just want to see what other things we can actually make. Did I get a metal knife? I can't remember. No, I didn't. A shame. So I've just got a metal pickaxe which I will repair. That needs to be repaired on the anvil. And you need at least one iron ingot either in your inventory or on the anvil to be able to repair it. There we go. So that back up to full. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot I can do while it's pouring down with rain. Um, oh, we're going to get some really heavy rain coming in, in a minute. There's a good chance some trees are going to get blown over here. Uh, there's not a lot I can do. I've, uh, I've done all my reorganisation. What have I got in my inventory? Well, that can go somewhere. Let's stick that in there. I believe you can use that in there later to create some medication. I've also noticed that when I had my last drink I got dysentery. Which will disappear in a moment, but I shouldn't get that anymore as we've now got the rain reservoir. My light on, my light's on. I'll leave it on so we can see what we're doing. It is a bit dark in here. So I think I'll just wait this out and then um, I'll see you when the rain cloud, when the storm's over. So I've just lost three trees there straight away, I don't know if it's well, if I remember I'll leave this bit in. Um, yeah, wind just blown down three trees, one after the other. Uh, my building is taking uh, some damaging uh, damage, I can hear it. Let's see what has been damaged. Actually the damage is not too bad, but I do want to get upgraded to um, stone building 
as quickly as possible. See there's a bore out there. You'd be okay in finish um, doing this. So we're over the worst of the storm. We now have 20.07 litres of water. Thank goodness for that. Now where was our ball? There he is. Can I get him out the window? Don't run away. Oh, perfect. Just run and grab him. I think I can pick him up. And bring him indoors. damaging my floor in there, not the... that's it. This is a stupid thing to do. There we go. Now, let's stick the meat on the fire. The white meat can go on the dryer. Um, let's get rid of that for the moment. Where's the animal parts? Which one to put the animal parts in? That one there. So let's just drop these off so they're not cluttering up my inventory. And torture to... No, oh, it's floor torture. Why have we got floor torture? Which one did I take out? There's one there, one there, one there. Okay, I'm sick of storage in for now. And then get rid of this, don't need this in my inventory. And let's eat some foods. Drink some water, which is now clean water, so I won't get dysentery again. Some oxygen. And let's chop up these trees that were blown down before they despawn. One, I think it was three of them blew over in total. It's the second one. The cyan axe makes chopping trees down so much quicker than the stone axe. And obviously the better axes do it even quicker again. And then if you get the skill lumber straight to inventory, it, it, yeah, you don't have to stop. Literally hit the tree and it, literally hit the tree and the wood goes straight in the inventory. You don't have to stop to pick it up. Okay, so here's the third one I blew over. Now I did a bit of reading about the bees because in the last couple of episodes I encountered bees in uh, caves and uh, as I feared you can't actually damage the bee swarms with ranged weapons. You've got to use melee weapons so they're getting close to you before you can actually damage them. Um, so that was something I didn't know about. I'll go, I kind of worked out the hard way I guess but yeah. Um, so yeah, we have some honey, we have some work bees, and we have a queen bee. So um, <clears throat> if in the future I unlock the hive skill, 
I'll be able to make hive uh, beehives and make my own honey and other honey based and uh, beeswax based items. Now, how close are we going up to the level? Not far off, okay. Let's see if we can get that deer from here, if you'll stop for five minutes. Perfect. What a shot. Oh yeah, better repair this when I come back. So this was also damaged by the storm. This will all be converted to stone. Um, once I unlock the stone mason's bench. Part of the reason I've been getting so much iron is you need a lot of um, iron nails to uh, create a lot of stone items. So that's why I've been getting so much iron. So when I do unlock the stone mason's, stone mason's bench, I can quickly get everything upgraded. And it's just a way of getting the XP. Oh, tools broken. Okay, and damage. To be fair, I don't think I've actually repaired this for the last two storms. Nearly done. This will also be useful um, when I'm unlock of the water wheel. I can build water wheels along here uh, to generate electricity and you've got to keep occasionally clearing the moats to collect debris from the river. You just need to put a water wheel on a river that's flowing, which this is flowing that way. So well, we, we are very close to the Let's just go in. Oh, I don't see the I think I've scared you off already, haven't I? And still. Oh yeah. Didn't think I was going to get him. Oh, I will take this tree. Simply because I want the. I'm gonna have to dump some of this wood. For now we will just put it in here. I should get both my arrows back. No, only one of them. You're two sticking out already a moment ago. Yeah, I can hear you, little shamwa. Right, let's just finish this tree. Where was it? Another event coming in. Rabbit decided to run into my tree. It was an easy target. I didn't hear him coming up. Where did he come from? 
Oh, and he's actually injured me. I'm bleeding. So I need a bandage. Let's just get back inside here for the moment. Uh, crafting. Bandage, what do I need? Fibre. Let's quickly craft up a bandage. Oh, I've actually got one already. Oh well. Got two now. Eight. Use that. There we go. That's cured the um, the wound. The stop the bleed. See, his carrot about to go off, so I'll stick it on the fire to cook it. And I'll get rid of all this again. Just not carrying it wrong with me. It's okay. Right, talent points. Another three talent points. What do I want this time? So I want the water skin. I want skinning bench. And I want epoxy. That means next time oh that's a little point available. Um antibiotic tonic. Okay, pneumonia. So now what I can do is I can at my workbench create a water skin and need two leather and four bone. Leather bone craft the water skin. Stick it down here. And with the water skin in my hand, if I click on the reservoir, you can see it's actually filled as blue little circle on the water skin at the bottom indicate that it's been filled with water. I can now put that in the um, herbalism bench, take the flower, put that in there, and I can now. Craft flat bread dough. And here comes the damage again from the storm. Let's just wait it out. I'm going to lose another load of trees. There's another tree going down. <laughs> Thought that was a crocodile there. <laughs> Because <laughs> they look a bit like that when you see them. Um, yeah, sorry, that made me jump. So let's just wait and this finishes. So I can take that back, take the flatbread, I can stick them in the fire, and that will now make flatbread to me. Up again. I'm just waiting for the storm passing so I can uh, repair everything. What was the other thing I got? Um, epoxy and a skinning bench. Skinning bench, that's the next thing I want. Skinning bench, I need fibre and stone. Fibre, we've got here. Stone, we don't have. Okay, so let me just quickly go and do a little bit of mining. Oh, another tree down. Well, lots of trees down. I know I'm taking exposure damage, but I just want to get some stone quickly. Game with iron pickaxes does it so much quicker. over the worst of storm anyway. Yeah. 
Should be enough. There we go. Let's craft that. Take our skinning bench and I'll we'll stick it over here close to the actually let's put it that way. Close to the drying rack. So now when I get small animals and things I can drop them on here. I just want to quickly craft a torch as well. Oh, we do have wooden torches, okay. Just need a bit of something. So I can craft a wooden torch. Which lasts longer than uh, the rag torch. Right, let's dump some of this crap now. So don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Keep that, keep that. The meat can go on the fire. And the bones and leather can go back in here. Okay, now what do I need to make epoxy? Epoxy. Tree sap and sulfur or crushed bone. I don't believe I've unlocked crushed bone from a tech tree yet. Um, let's have a look. It's a tier one. Tier two. There's crushed bone, so I need to unlock that at some point to make uh, poxy easier. Otherwise, I've got to use sulfur, but we've got some sulfur. So, I'll stick that in there. Tree sap is sticks. Or wood. Hmm. Let's craft that. And the epoxy is two sulfur for four tree sap. Okay, so let's just the tree sap go through. While I'm here, let's pick up the flatbread. So the flatbread gives us 100 stamina regeneration, which is really good, plus five water consumption, plus five experience gains. Obviously, so gains in um, experience. Oh, yeah, experience and uh, warp and stuff with standard regeneration is really good. Is that finished? So max out the epoxy. Let's quickly let this craft. I'll take the epoxy to the herbalism bench and I need oh and yeah, I didn't realize you could make it with just honey that's in your recipe that's honeycomb and charcoal for antibody biotectonic but I can do it either way um, charcoal East. So let's just craft that. Why not crafting? I heard a chamois. Right there somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bear. I hate bears. That's only the second bear I've seen now, which is quite unusual. You normally see a lot more of them. Now, let's just... Okay, go back at some bone. Make sure everything's repaired. Spear. Right, I need to run to deeper water. Come on, run, 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 run. Get my spear. Where is he? Make sure I stay in the deeper water. Oh, I'll just get the shot of water then. He would have had me. So you can't pick a bear up, it's just too heavy. So you can't take that back to your um, shack to put it on the skinning bench. Do you get a lot of experience points for killing a bear? So, what else has been coming down? So, there's a tree down over there. Let's quickly just go and chop that up. Save losing the wood. And some more yeast. Let's pick up the yeast as well. Oh, there's two trees down. Three trees down. food running out so let's take one of them one of them and one of them and what else could that tree it looks like it's just despawned great <laughs> Did I unlock the scythe? Yes, I did. So I could build a scythe. Sickle, sorry, no scythe. So if I pick up one of these by hand, oops, I get four. If I use the size, the sickle, sorry, I get seven. So it just means you get more bang for your book, but it's only certain things you can pick up. It's only things that you can actually use the sickle on that you get the bonus with. So, for example, so you can't do it in a tree, you need an axe. Um, you can use it on things like. Um, coffee beans and what have you. You can't use it on the saplings. So you can use it on the berries but like small trees where you get sticks from. I can't see any around here. Mm -hmm. So this here you can't use it on that. See? But you can, like I say, you can use it on the vegetation. And it just gets you more fibre. You can see the fibre going up really rapidly now. Hello Buffalo, I'm not going to touch you. So. Let's make sure our water bottles are full. And as it's night, I think we'll come indoors and let's
Come on. Pull the fibre away. I don't really need the coffee beans. We'll stick them in here though. One moment. Put the meat on the fire. Put the leather. Fern the bones away. Put the seeds away. And the um, coffee beans. And the yeast and the berries. And that can go in there as well. And I've got some rotten meat in there, but it'll stay in here for now. Um, and then just stick some wood away. So, put that away. Last thing we'll do is spend the last talent point. What do I want it on? Let's go for second resources from bushes. I think I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like, subscribe buttons, and I'll catch you next time. Strong fly gamer out. <laughs>